Good morning, Internet. Well, it's now 10 weeks since I went into lockdown. And when I did, I fully expected I'd be stuck here for many, many months. But amazingly, it's looking increasingly like New Zealand has beaten this pandemic. We've had no new cases for a week now, and there's only one person who's still sick with COVID-19 in the whole country. It's incredible. Of course, officially we're still in level two, so there's still lots of restrictions and you still have to fill out contact tracing forms everywhere you go and the borders are going to be closed for a long time yet. But it's starting to feel a lot more normal and I'm starting to feel a lot safer about just going out and interacting with people, which I certainly wasn't a couple of weeks ago. Since we went into level two, I've been out for dinner a few times. I've been to the library. I've been to a few shops. I've even caught up with some friends and played a game of D&D in person, which that is so fun to be able to actually just hang out with friends again normally. The next big step will be stopping working from home. And I'm planning to gradually ease into that over the next few weeks, just because I work for such a big organisation that it kind of feels a little bit more risky going back to work than doing small scale things. But I'm feeling pretty confident about it. So I think it shouldn't take me long to get back to working from work normally just when I was starting to get really used to this working from home thing. <laughs> it's going to be good to be back at work though. There's a lot of things that's been frustrating about working from home. But mainly it just feels exciting that we've beaten this thing and our country's going to start getting back to normal. Saying that, of course, I really feel sorry for all of you in countries where you're not back at normal yet and COVID-19 is still a very real and very scary presence in your lives. And yeah, I, I just feel really sorry for you. And especially those of you in countries where your governments seem to be putting the economy ahead of human lives and it's not good. So to all of you out in other countries, kia kaha, stay strong, stay safe and I really hope you come through this okay. So I wasn't quite as productive during lockdown as I thought I might have been. I found just working from home took all my mental energy and I didn't have a lot of time to do other things. But I did achieve one exciting thing, which was a new computer. My old computer was getting very old and just wasn't coping, especially with editing videos. It had a tendency to crash mid-edit. So once the online shopping started opening up, I got online and I ordered a whole lot of parts and then my nephew and I had a really fun weekend, occasionally frustrating but mostly fun, putting it together and building a new computer for me. There's still a few little tweaks I'd like to make to it and a couple of components I want to add but they're not essential ones. But already it's so much better than the old one works so much faster and it's not crashing when I get it to do something that takes a little bit more processing power and best of all it's got rainbows because you know that's the most important thing is having pretty lights in it who cares about how it actually works <laughs> anyway that's what I've been up to here in almost COVID free New Zealand I hope you're all staying safe don't forget to do all those nice internet-y things like liking and subscribing and leave a comment. Let me know how your lockdown is going, has gone if you're out of it. 
and I'll see you next time. Bye, internet. <laughs> <laughs>